Hey, it's Richard Strong and Blackhead Football out of West Contact Camp. We got Liberty Ranch on offense here against Kimball on defense. We're going to talk to Charles Spikes. What do we call you? Defense offensive? Or? Yes, I do, buddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mr. Versatility. Mr. Versatility. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Kimball High End. Now, Kevin, the 7 on 7 patch, well, what kind of things are you looking for? Yeah, we're looking to see how we're fundamentally sound. Are we getting reroutes when we're out there on the pass route? Are we recognizing where there are drop zones are at? And we're handling that. That's what we're looking for defensively. Are we getting underneath the receivers? Yeah, and we want to reroute before we go. That's what, that's what we want to get out. That's the most consistent part. And then reacting to it. That's, that's what we're looking for on defense. Offensively, do we know our plays? Do we get aligned correctly? And are we running our routes according to what the defense is giving us? Like okay. the, I, have, I was on a kid earlier about we run the curl out. We curl, and when you sit down, you don't just sit down. You sit and you find that open spot and find the quarterback's out. That's what you're looking for. He ran towards the defender. You know, like, you like catching the ball? <laughs> <laughs> you want to catch it? Uh, that's not what you do if you want to catch the ball. Uh, and right now on defense, I'm looking, when that ball's in the air and we can't feel the receiver, yeah. we're playing the receiver, not looking at the quarterback. He's not going to throw us the ball. Okay. So that's one of those things we're harping on. And we film this out when we go and we show them the things. Kids don't believe when we say it, but you put the film on, then you're like, oh, I did do that. So basically where the receiver's going, that's where they got to go. That's where, you go. where he's going, the ball's going to be there. Exactly. Okay. Now, C7 on 7 without pads and this with pads. Why is this a better indicator of who actually got the ball? There's a little contact involved with this. Even though we try to keep everybody up, we don't want people falling down or tackling to the ground. Yeah. Some kids are going to be naturally gun shy. Okay. And other kids are going to seek out that contact. And you're looking for those kids. Even if they don't play that position, you got them on defense regular time. And you want them on your kickoff of your punt teams because those are the ones that are going to be collision seekers. Okay. And that's where collision you find seekers. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, hey, defensively, who are some of the kids that we're going to be hearing about this year for you guys? Uh, hopefully a whole bunch of names. Hopefully you see it like four or five kids every time we talk about that. Okay. But some of our leaders right now, if I had to say early on, if if he gets in game shape, um, Mr. James Akins is one of the ones we're going to okay. see. Um, we have two really good corners that we're really excited about, and three or four more It's going to be pushing them to – that's a real good group of secondary kids. And I got a mean-spirited kid playing middle linebacker. His name is Jake. You want to talk to him too because he's the definition of a, a linebacker. Jake's last name? That's an excellent question. I don't, that's, that's <laughs> don't, don't last it right now. You got, you, got, you got way too many kids out here to remember all of them. Yeah. Now, offensively, I know Zach Johnson's gone after three years. Yes. <laughs> offensively, what are we going to see from Kimball? We're year? a wing TT. Okay. You'll see us, and hopefully by the time we get to September, you'll see a tempo where we're up to the line, we're snapping the ball, and we're going. But we're, we're a run team. We're a run okay. team first and play action second. Now, and wing T, East Union's going to it, Oakdale does it, you guys are doing it out. Is very that, similar to Oakdale, where okay. we actually went um, Pittman. That's where we got to went in clinic with them, and a lot of the stuff that they do is what we do, or we try to emulate. That was a real good example. I was at West High before this two years ago. We okay. played in the playoffs, and they thumped us pretty good. <laughs> it was sort of returning the favor because five years before, we put them out two years in a row when they had Kaepernick. So it was, it was <laughs> the head coach is very happy. And so after he thumped us, he was happy to help us out. That's a nice one to have. Yeah. Hey, now, the wing team, is it come? It disappeared. I don't want to say disappeared. Yeah, everything's sick. It fell out of favor. People went to the spread. Now it's coming back. Is there a reason for that? We don't always have the linemen that Manteca have. Okay. You look over Manteca, you that looks oh, like know. a college O line, and, and they're fundamentally and that's sound. And small their feet side. Are really good. <laughs> yeah, we don't get those kind. Of, we don't have the luxury of having those kids, so we can't go and just earth move people and have a power offense. With a wing team, you can play with anybody that plays the line as long as they're fundamentally sound and they're willing to move their feet and get off the football. So okay. I think that's why it's enduring, right? It may not be a bunch of teams running, but you come back to it because. Whatever you get, you can put those guys in there, and if they believe in the system and practice it, we'll get better at it, and they'll be yeah. we're able to move the football step. I'm not going to get you in trouble, so don't worry, okay? okay? But I know you guys are still looking for a head coach. Um, without a head coach this summer, how, how, is, 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 I guess is a staff. How are you guys approaching that? Actually, very well. Before Log is left, he had put together a really good staff, and it's been really nice working with the people I'm working with because there's no egos involved. Okay. We have it, we're doing what's best for the program, what's best for the kids, and it Believe it or not, this adversity has actually made us stronger. It's, we did some team building stuff on Fridays after weightlifting, and you can see our cohesion is starting to go like this. And that's nice to see. Even though we don't have a head coach, there's like three of us that make the decisions, and for the most part, it's working pretty good. Now, who else has been out here with, with, with you this summer? Um, well, everybody stayed on the staff except for Loggins, who's okay. moving on as athletic director at Clovis West. Okay. He got a very nice job, too. Okay. Um, hey, well, I appreciate your time. Thanks for letting me jump into your life for a little bit. No problem. And it's Charles Spikes, right? Charles Spikes, yeah. We'll see you in the fall. All right.